Well guys, I'm not going to have much time this weekend, so I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video today. Unfortunately, I don't have my typical mount with me, so I'm going to be using my GoPro with a chest mount. Alright, so recently we got some hatch tape. Unfortunately, we were like four inches short, you know. Can't ever be four inches short, then you ain't got much left. So uh, that's kind of what we had to make work there. Um, we'll just see if it works. I'm trying to block water from coming in the back of the hole here. So before I do a motor change, I just wanted to run this. This is a big 3S pack. It's 11,300 mile pack. Um, and then I've got the Dr. Props. Uh, what is that? A 642 on there. Then I also have this here, which is a round ear. It's a 4214. And then I also have this here, which is one that I just prepped. That's an Octora 640. So I just balanced it and um polished it sharpened it all that good stuff so let's see which one of these we're going to try first thing we'll go out is uh we'll run a little 3s run and i'm sure we'll get pretty good run time out of that long battery and uh then we're going to do a 4s run <clears throat> i'm basically just doing this as like preliminary testing to try to get the boat to handle a little bit better than it did in the last video so i've got the uh rear right trim tab down a little bit um just the tip of it is like the touching the water and this one right there is just a smidge above so we'll see we'll see let's get it in the water and see how it goes all right let's see what we can do here first time ever running the chaser on 3s the pond looks like a disaster man all right let's see <laughs> it's a nice day out today That heavier battery really keeps that nose down. Yeah, 3S ain't nothing with a 1650 kV. Absolutely nothing. Needs a really big prop. Turns good. All right, let's see. This is actually slow. Yeah. I've got a smaller battery in it right now, so it's not going as fast as it as it normally does. Just imagining that duck that you told us about a while ago just meow. It's probably doing like twenty seven miles an hour right here. Hey, oh my god, look. 27 miles an hour see <laughs> it's literally how fast this thing i just was like guesstimating that all right i'm gonna go ahead and bring it in i want to try a different a different propeller still pretty good <coughs> Just not much power with an 11 volt setup. Really need to go up higher KV. But that's what we're gonna do next go round. Gonna go to the higher KV motor. Okay, let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that, 26. So this is 26 and the W fly said 27. So they're, they're always pretty much in line with one another. Let's see. Yeah, motor's cool. 91. Let's see what these wires say. Wires are fine. Everything's cold. Everything's cold. Even the battery's cold. Okay. I'm going to try a different prop. That was a 642 from Dr. Props. The only thing I've got is, like, with me right now, is this round ear and then this octora i've never ran around here but i just finished the octora so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the octora on now um and just see you know it's 3s and i'm gonna bring the trim tabs up because she was running really wet but right now i've got the battery as far forward as possible which actually still gives me a 70 30 cg like right on the money um but maybe it was running wet because 
I have the trim tabs down now, which I think once we run like 6S on this thing, we really need to uh, push the trim tabs down. All right. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring this thing up. <laughs> okay. That one's locked. I'll do this one. I went down one turn on this one. So we'll do a half a turn. I'll lock it back off. Okay. Go ahead and reset this. Okay, stick it back in there. Always disconnect your battery. This has got to be the most unrealistic, unrealistic bench ever. It's like made for ogres and, and there's like holes. Oh, I need to come here and rebuild this for my neighbors. Okay, let's go ahead. Take this prop off here. I'm trying to get y'all. I don't like shooting with the GoPro. I'd much rather shoot with my phone. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. 642. We're going to set that in there. Let's run the Octora. I've yet to see if this even fits. Yeah, it does. Sometimes we need prop spacers, depending on how deep the hub is. This will be a fun prop to run on 4S. All right, let's go ahead and get this all back put together. Oh, plug the battery in. See how it goes. All right, well, we got, we'll call it 27. And now we've got the X640 on it. Oh shit! Okay, well, take two. Like the hash tape worked really well. It sat upside for like five minutes until I could get my canoe in the water, and it didn't have any water in it. So I was kind of surprised about that. The only thing was my GPS kind of rattled around, so I had to open it up and re-put the GPS back in. So the hatch tape works as long as it's perfectly upside down, and I have the nose taped because that's all I had. I had the nose taped on it. Okay, let's try this again. All right, let's, let's give this a couple laps. It seems slower than the Dr. Props, which theoretically it should be, since it's a 40 and not a 42, but it's still a 1.6 pitch. I want to try to test these, like how well does it corner? I, I went ahead and put the trim tabs deeper than they were when I tried racing it. I had them at a 45 degree angle and I had them up kind of far. Okay. I'm gonna say it's doing 25. It's doing exactly 25, y'all. I just had to see, you know, before I swap out the 1600 KV for the 2600, I really wanted to get numbers in my notebook to where I understand what something does you know, KV versus voltage wise. It's still running really wet, but that's probably just because it ain't got enough ass to lift it up out of the water. The pond becomes a lot bigger when you don't go as fast. When you go, the faster you go, the slower the, or the smaller the pond becomes. All right. Let's go ahead, 
pull that battery out. I want to test the Octura prop on 4S and see how it does. So much crap in this pond. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. Set that up there. Um, get the temp gun out. Yeah, 97. Uh, 85 and 82 yeah see 24 so we're not crazy fast we aren't really trying for speed here i just haven't i haven't really ran those batteries man yeah we got a lot of water in all that time Let's go ahead and pop this battery out and put the 4S pack in it and get it all dried off. Okay, so we got the 4S pack back in it. We're going to go ahead and button it all up. Uh, first going to try the X640. Uh, and I really, I really do want to try the round ear, but I don't think, I don't know. I'll try it. We've already did the doctor props on it. I just want to try different, different props. This will be the first time I've ever run a round ear, so it'll be kind of unique just to see how it performs. Let me get it all taped up. All right, let's give this test on 4S. Try not to flip the boat again. I, w I can't set it in the water because there's like so much stuff right there and it's so shallow, I gotta toss it. Oh man, what a missile. Let's do hard corners here. Probably should have it taped up if I'm gonna do hard cornering. That turns pretty good. So yeah, it skips in the corners a little. And it turned real sharp if I let off, but probably killed my momentum. All right, let's not kill that battery. Let's bring it in. I want to try the round ear. I'm not going to, uh, good God, look at all that crap. That's my, what I pick up as soon as I bring it in here. Um, I'm not even gonna open it up and check the temps or anything like that, because I don't want to have to undo my tape. But um, I will check this speed, because this speed on the GPS is so far have been within one mile an hour one another. Let's see. Damn it, 25. I had something else on at that point. It doesn't matter. I know it was doing way faster than 25. I want to say doing like 30, 35. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to swap these props out. All right, so we've got this 4214 round ear. Now they have a 44 millimeter round ear, but it's 1.6 pitch. And then they go back to 1.4 pitch with a 46 mil, which is less overall pitch. So um, I really don't know. We're just gonna try this one. I figured that'd be a, a pretty good high RPM prop. So we're gonna try it in a low KV scenario here first. All right, let's see. Got the sunlight coming in on me now. Holy shit. That's pretty quick. It had a lot more cavitation off the rip. But it looks like the boat trying to get a yeah it looks like the boats a lot of run it like more dry not as wet that's gonna be a good prop
Not bad. Let's see. 32 miles an hour. So 32, 33. Yeah, it takes a while for that prop to catch anything. No, I got myself wet. Go do the jumps. You can tell it cavitates like hell. It may be a, maybe too small of a prop for the boat, but it may be a good high RPM prop. We'll have to see. All right, I'm gonna do a cool down lap. Pretty good rip. Let's go ahead, take it over there and open it up. Okay. Still got a little water in the boat. Let's see what we got. Only 34. So now we got some pretty good preliminary numbers for 1650 kV. Now we're gonna, next motor I think we're gonna do is at 2650. And we'll really be able to tell how much kV is all right 92 99 87 not even stroking man not even stroking but we do have water in the boat so i really do need to tape it up i just wanted to see if it was worth a damn for the hatch tape but it doesn't look like it okay well i expected the round ear to be slower um less overall pitch but i don't know that might be a good prop on a couple other boats we'll see we'll see but uh yeah cool all right well i'm uh i'm busy all weekend i really won't be able to get out and do any of the running that i wanted to do work's been kind of crazy and uh the kids have kind of got me obligated right now so i'm gonna do some stuff with them and then hopefully in a in a week or so I can get back and uh, make a couple of videos out at the pond for y'all. But uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So I'll see y'all at the pond later. Peace.